Greetings once again, Python coders. It is I, Alan D. Moore. I'm still the author of this book, Python GUI Programming with TK Inter. And we are just going through in this series how to create a very simple TK Inter application. This is the second video in the series. If you need to get uh, up to speed with where we're at, please see the first video in this series. All right, I have got our little GUI that we've programmed. And I've just added some comments and kind of grouped the code in a smart way. And I've added one more widget here, and that is a status bar. So at the bottom, we have a label that we're going to be able to display messages on. And I'll show you how we're going to do that in just a bit. All right, so in this video, we're going to make our GUI do something. So just let's look at our GUI. Save it. We're going to have our GUI right here. And as you see, it's got a subject line, it's got a category line, and it's got an entry for a message. It's got a save button, and this space you see at the bottom is where our status bar is going to be. All right, let's make it do something. So in the first video, I talked about the main loop, or the event loop of TK Enter. And in an event loop, what we do is we have an event queue, and every time something is done in the application, such as a button push or a key press, that creates an event, and that event is put into the queue. And then every time that TKEnter goes through the main loop, it takes the events out of the queue one by one. It looks to see if there's a function tied to that event, and if there is, it runs that function. If not, it just discards the event. So what we want to do to make our GUI useful is create a function and then bind it to an event. Specifically, we want to create a save function that will gather the data from the form and save it in a file. And we want to bind that function to the event of clicking that save button. So down here under the status bar, but before the main loop, right, because that's the last thing that runs in any application, we're going to define a function we'll just call it save give it a doc string save the data to a file all right so the first thing we need to do is get our data to get data from an entry widget where our subject is we can use its get function so subject equals subject input dot get that will just retrieve whatever is currently in that widget. To get our list box selection is a little more complicated. So um, list box selected equals cat input dot cur selection. We need to get the current selection of the list box. Now there may be no selection or there may be multiple selections. So we're going to do a little if statement here. If not selected, so if we have nothing selected, um, we're going to just say category equals misc for miscellaneous. Else category equals categories. So I see selected zero. So what we're doing, since cur selection returns a tuple of all the indexes of the selected items, we only want the first one because we can only have one category. So we're going to get that first item, and then we're going to actually not parentheses there. We're going to use that to find the string in the categories list to be our category. So a little complicated to get things from a list box there. Um, in a future video, we'll talk about how to address that. Finally, our text widget, we need to get our message from. It also has a get method, but for a text widget, it's a little more complicated. We have the option, an option that's not an option, um, to get text in a range. So 
we need to specify a start index and an end index to get that um, text from. Indexes are, have a certain specification. In this case, our start index is going to be the string 1.0. The 1 stands for the first line, the 0 for the 0th character. Now make note that that's a string. It's not a float. If you pass a float, you'll get an error. It is a string. For the end, we can use a special tkinter constant, which we've already seen, called tk.end, all caps, E-N-D. We use that above for our categories to tell it where to insert uh, each category at the end of the list. So that's just something that crops up a lot in tkinter using these constants. All right, now that we've got our data, let's go ahead and save it to a file. So we're going to say with uh, let's construct the file name first. So we'll we'll do a format string. And we'll say category dash subject dot txt. And then we'll open, okay, what, let's call that file name with open file name in write mode. We'll call that fh for file handle fh dot write message. Finally we're going to update our status bar. To do that we can change the text in the status bar using the widgets configure method like this. File saved. So configure allows you just to reconfigure any of those keyword arguments that you could have passed in when you created the widget. You can just specify them here and change them, or specify them if you didn't specify them in the first place. All right, that's our function. We'll go ahead and save that. And now we need to bind that function to the event of pushing the save button. And when we bind a function to an event, we, we use the term callback. That becomes a callback function or a callback method. There's several ways we can do that. We could, when we create the button, use its keyword argument command. Of course, that would require that the save function exist when we create the button. Obviously, it doesn't. We could move our function definition up so that it's above the button definition, and then it would exist. Uh, but that mixes our GUI code with our function code, and it's just kind of sloppy. So I don't like doing it that way. All right, so instead, we'll do it afterwards using the button's configure method. So save button dot configure, which we just talked about, command equals save. There is a third way we could do this using the bind method. That's a little more advanced, and we'll talk about that in a future video, but it's a lot more flexible and powerful. Uh, but for now, using command on the button is perfectly adequate. So let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. Our subject is going to be test number one. We'll file this under hobbies. This is a test of my diary application. Let's click Save. And we got File Save down here in the status. I'm going to go over here to my command line. And I'm going to list. And I do have a file there you can see called Hobbies Test Number 1. Let's go ahead and cat that. Hobbies. And it's got the message in it. All right. So that's all there really is to it to get your GUI to do something. We need to create the function, and we just need to tie it to an event. In this case, we tied it to a button, which was very easy. We could just use the command argument. All right, one thing that was tough in this video was getting the data out of our widgets. I'm going to show you a better way to do that, 
in the next video that's also going to open up a lot more functionality for us. Till then, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this. Please do check out my book, Python GUI Programming with TK Enter. God bless.